So hello everyone, in this video I am going to tell you guys how to customize the newer version of Android Studio to speed up our work. So before that, this is my older version of Android Studio. So I am going to tell one tricks to all of you guys. You guys see database manager and new database manager. If I need to go to inside this one, right, I can press control or command. Then after this become a clickable, then I just click. So if I need to go back, I need to go to that navigate and I press the back. So accessing the sub menu is a bit difficult for me. So in order to fix this one, go to the view and the appearance, you want to enable this toolbar. So once you enable, you guys see back and forward option will be available. So now I just click this one. So if I need to go back, I just can press the back, forward and back. So this is a good feature. I frequently use this one. But in newer version of Android Studio, I am going to the view and appearance. There is no option for that one. That's why the customizing the UI is very important in the newer version of Android Studio. So let's see how we can customize the UI. So if you are using a Windows, you need to go to the file and select the settings. But in my case, I am using the Mac. So I need to click here and click the settings. So once the settings pop up is available, I am expanding the appearance and behavior. This is a new UI. And second one is menus and toolbars. Main menu means this one. Android Studio, file, edit, view, navigate. So if you expand this one, file, edit, view, right, navigate. You guys see second one is the main toolbar left. So this is the main toolbar. Left is this one. So this is right one and this is center one. So likewise, we have to figure it out all other menus and toolbars. If you go to that older Android Studio version, so once I enable this back and forward, that will come to the display, right? So I'm going to replace the same thing in the new version of Android Studio as well. So in order to do this one, you guys see, so this is the main toolbar left. I just expand this one. After I select the main toolbar left, I mean this place, I just press the plus button and add an action. So once I add the action, there's a pop-up. So in this pop-up, I am expanding the main menu. So here there's option for navigate, right? So I just click the navigate. So I'm using the control or command. And again, I press the forward and I just press okay back and forward option is available in the main toolbar left click apply and press okay so now the back and forward is available so likewise you can customize all of the menus and toolbars here if you right click in the editor so let's see how we can customize this one so again i am going to that settings and here that's called editor pop-up menu so if you expand this one you guys see cut copy paste everything right so if you want to add any of the features in this menu, so only thing is you have to select the main menu and click the add button. So once you click the add button, then you have to press the add action. Then you have to expand all of the features, right? Logat. So if you need to add any of the logat features, you can select and press OK. So once you add, then that will appear in the pop-up. So likewise, you have to customize all of the features. And before that, if you like this content, please make sure to subscribe and support me. So in the future, I'm going to upload the modern Android development series like Jetpack Combos and the Kotlin. So I hope I'm going to start it very soon. And please make sure to subscribe and stay tuned. And thank you so much, guys.